My name is Peter Gill, I'm from Australia and our team here, we call ourselves Oceania because uh, we're two New Zealanders and two Australians and my New Zealand teammates just came fourth in the World Championships um, representing New Zealand and my partner and I, we play in the Australian team but we've combined up for this because it's a very big event and we wanted the best possible team. And we came fourth, we just lost the playoff for the bronze medal uh, by a little bit against the Danish team. I've been playing bridge for a long, long time, for like 50 years since I was little. I started when I was just a kid and I, um, and I play bridge for a living. For the last 15 years I've been playing professionally. What happened was that I, I got tired of working in a normal job. I did a science degree originally and worked in various jobs, laboratories and managing things and things and I got a bit tired of that and thought I'd better give professional bridge a try. But I, at that time I was not a very confident person. Bridge has given me confidence because of being like regarded by many as the best bridge player in Australia. I'm not sure if I am or not. The actual tournament here is 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 uh, fantastic, and our the organisation, everything's fantastic. We've liked, liked the hotel, we've liked everything. So I've spent a whole week in Delhi just playing bridge and not going out. My teammates went out twice. The prize money from HCL uh, from uh, HCL was the big attraction because that's advertised as the biggest prize money in the world. I also knew from seven years ago that it was a really good tournament seven years ago. When I played in it then we came first but it was mainly Indian teams and now it's got all these uh, about 20 teams from around the world plus 150 or whatever Indian teams whatever it is so it's um, very very challenging and the Indian teams are tough there's like a, a like compared with Australia where I come from, there's just so many good players here. Every single match we've played has been tough bridge against very good players. So and it is interesting that India has so many good players except that they just can't break through to that against the Europeans and Americans to be, you know, the, the top in the world. They, and I think if anything it was better run now, it was really well run, well organised, great hospitality, terrific meals, terrific food, and um, so we, we enjoyed everything about it and, uh, and all that. It's totally dominated by bridge. I mean, my life is, at the moment, for the last 15 years, my life is very bridge dominated, and so I do some, uh, some coaching as, as well back in Australia, and almost all my friends are bridge players, so it's very much a, a bridge community, you know, there's a bridge community, but, but bridge is everything for me. Well, coming to India, well, of course, you realise our cricket teams, you know what it's like in Australia when we come to India, they all go, oh my gosh, Australia always fails in India, they always find it impossible. And the Indian bridge players, this huge number of Indian bridge players here, whatever it is, 600, 700 bridge players from India that are here, they're all so nice and so pleasant. And when you're at the bridge table overseas, you have your unpleasant people and difficult people, but here the Indian people are always so so pleasant, so nice, but the Indian people are, are wonderful and um, the hospitality, it's almost like it's too much hospitality uh, in India. Australia is one of the top countries at the World Juniors. We've never won, and no Australian has ever won a World Championship at Bridge. We've had seconds and thirds and fourths, but no win. And, um, but we have lots, we're very good at Junior Bridge, we have been for about 20 years and what happens in Australia is they have a youth week, a national youth week and it's only like about a hundred and something people come to it but in India if you did the same thing of having a national youth bridge week, just a fun thing, uh, it would create a sort of uh, pinnacle for young people to go to and so all the, because there are people over in India who have bridge going at schools and things and they'd have something to aim for and this really strange thing about this tournament where there was, a, I think we saw an eight year old playing but most of the top Indian players are in their 40s, 50s and 60s. Our team of best players in thing, I'm older but my partner is about 31 
and he, uh, our New Zealand teammates are 21 year old and a 29 year old so and this is more normal of the top bridge players are the younger ones so for India to get good well what 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 really uh, should happen with India is that there is this if 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 there are intelligent young people in India the sky's the limit because people in their 20s should be taking over and making the national team and getting all these trips overseas that I get paid for by my National Bridge Federation. So it has so many benefits for you and there's also been academic studies on bridge, one, one, only one academic study, maybe that means nothing, that says that if you have bridge as a hobby you tend to perform better at universities and schools and in your work that they've studied up this sort of thing. Also there have been other studies that bridge improves academic performance. Using your mind is, is, is sort of good for you and compared with doing stuff on computers, playing bridge seems to make your mind stronger for doing other things. Um, and as a result you can sort of see what bridge players are like. Like just to give one example, Kiran Nadar, she's an amazing bridge player. I mean she's fantastically successful. She's very competitive, that's for sure. But she, of course, um, she and her husband, they, they just start up a company and it's ma magnificently, hugely successful. And that happens all across the world. Bill Gates is a bridge player. Warren Buffett is a bridge player. All these people have played bridge against Bill Gates. At this level, at the top level, concentration is number one. It's all about concentrating and not losing concentration. The second thing at bridge is uh, temperament. The third word is, should be more popular, it's whatever means that. More people should play bridge because it's good for you, it exercises your brain, you don't get to, people who play bridge don't get dementia, it's um, because they're using their brain. So it's a really good hobby to have, but they're my three things.